dv over dy could be 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. Or you can put the minus 1 to be consistent. Let me put minus, minus, minus here, and not put minus 1. So if we are going from top to bottom, okay. Um, so, uh, so once we have created the two kernels, right, in the x direction and the y direction, then what will be the equation for our gradient filter? So as I mentioned, our gradient filter is basically dp over dx squared plus dp over dy square square root. So suppose I gave you an image. So my question is, how will you compute this? How will you apply the gradient filter to the image? First, do you take that filter? First, you will take this kernel. Then, uh, using number and square it. No, you'll do a convolution of this with this one. Okay, and that will give you the image. Whatever the con result of the convolution is, will give you the e over dx image. Right? Then, you will apply the second kernel over here, dp over dy. And what will that give you? dp over dy. So the second kernel, so this was the first kernel, convolution, then the second kernel convolution, meaning the y kernel, this is the dp over dx kernel, right? Once we get, so we'll get basically two sets of images over here with certain numbers. Then what do we do? Square each pixel, square each pixel. Then we can rescale it. I think it should be okay. But anyway, we, once you guys program, you will. I I forgot whether I have to scale it or not. But anyway, you guys will confirm once you do the assignment. So, so anyway, so essentially, then you will square each, square each. You will add them, take the square root. So that will be your gradient image, gradient filtered image. Uh, track back to the beginning of this part. So when you have the original image, you have, you have the image, right? Yeah. So you'll apply this kernel to it. You do a you'll do a convolution, meaning put the three by three kernel, multiply and add, then move the kernel one pixel right, multiply and add. So you'll just keep s s doing the convolution of this kernel with the original image. So that will give you another another image, right? So the gradient filter is going to be bigger than 3 by 3. Right? It's uh, going to be larger than 3 by 3. No, why would it be larger? If you, let's say you have a 100 by 100 uh, pixel image, right? If you apply a 3 by 3 kernel, what will this be? 98 by 98. What will this be? 98 by 98. And you can pad it with zeros to still make it 100. And then all you're doing is squaring each value, adding it, taking the square root to, so this will still be 98 by 98, and if you pad it, it will be 100 by 100. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, because that's what you use for the gradient filter. Yeah, the final answer is the combination of the two filters applied. One in the x direction, one in the y direction. Professor, can I tell you about conclusion that uh, dp by dx will enhance all the uh, edges on this direction? Exactly. This will enhance the edges on the y direction. And when I combine it, I get an enhanced object. Correct, in both directions. So, you know, you may have a soccer ball as an example, right? If you only applied, uh, for example, the dp over dx, it will only enhance oh, on this, this part. One. Okay. If you only applied the y, it will only enhance this part. But now you'll have all edges enhanced. So, um, so anyway, uh, it's your next assignment. Like I said, you'll program these. 
And uh, um, so this is a good time for us to stop. So, uh, so please try to be here Friday. If you're unable to be here, the lecture will be recorded. So anyway, I will see you on Friday.